Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're gonna to talk about reasons your e-commerce sales are tanking. Uh, there's a few different things. There's, first of all, there's a lot of different reasons, some detail, like average order value and customer acquisition costs and all that kind of stuff that all those numbers need to go into fine tuning your conversion rates. But let's back out of the details a little bit and just talk about general reasons because if you skip these general region, reasons, none of those details will matter. The first most important thing you have to real, realize about online sales is that there's one thing that will absolutely completely decimate any of the bad things that are in your uh, customer journey process, and that is amazing demand and social proof. So if... Nike comes out with some partnership with, let's say, uh, LeBron James. Or actually, here's a really good example: The Rock. Okay, The Rock uh, has exclusive partnerships with Under Armour. So if The Rock comes out with something, it doesn't really matter what the user experience is like. People are going to want to get that shoe or that shirt or something like that, right? They're going to fight through whatever barriers of poor user experience that. A that exist in order to get that product. And the more in demand and the, 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 the lesser the supply, the more hungry people get. We've seen this with Supreme uh, partnerships and joint ventures with other products and brands, limited release items, all this kind of stuff, right? So demand built up with social proof will, will uh, erase just about any barriers uh, or hurdles, I, sh I should say, not barriers, but hurdles to getting a sale. So the more influencers that you have that have a ton of engagement and big followings and are, are doing a really good job representing your brand, the more social proof, the more positive customer reviews you have, uh, the, the easier it's going to get. So part of your decreasing or decreased or lack of growth of e-commerce sales could be that there's not enough social proof or demand for your product. So pay attention to that. Start looking at the influencers that love your brand, love your product, and really can reach a lot of good people because that could solve some of the early uh, uh, revenue woes that you have. Next is the internet is the wild west, and there's lots of different places to get lots of different things and lots of different places to get similar things. So just because you think your product or service is super unique, you need to make sure that your customer knows it's unique. And if it's not... You need to make sure that there's some price uh, uh, fairness that's that exists. So map pricing is minimum advertised pricing. Making sure that there's a level playing field for you to play on. Because if you have your product on your website for twenty dollars, you can bet you can bet that everybody who lands in your website is going to hop over to Amazon to see if they can get it for fifteen dollars or fifteen ninety nine or eighteen ninety nine. Because if they can buy it cheaper there, they're going to. Um, so that's one major issue is that if your price is not competitive on your website or on the inverse, if it's not competitive on Amazon and there's other people selling it for cheaper, you better bet that you're not going to get the sale. You're not going to get the buy box and you're not going to get sales on your website. So you need to make sure that your price is competitive with other existing, uh, listings of your product or other competing products, even if you don't think they're exactly the same. If the public perception is that they're the same, they're the same. And people are going to buy the cheaper option more often than not. Um, the next thing, the third thing, is a poor user experience on your website. People underestimate how big this is. You have to understand, again, just like my last statement, there's so many places to get so many things on the internet. We're so used to having exactly what we want with a couple of taps on our phone. So if they get to your website and it's slow, they can't really find what they're looking for, they can't search for what they're looking for, the user experience is bad, the checkout experience is bad, if there's any barriers that they see there and your social proof and your demand is not big enough, they're going to leave your website and they're going to go to your competitors. So make sure that your user experience is on point. Invest in it. Invest in influencers. Invest in your website user experience because that brand that people will see uh, is a, it will have a direct correlation to the revenue that you generate. Next, stemming from the user experience is a bad customer experience. So reason for declining sales could be that once they got your service or your product, they weren't happy. 
So this has nothing to do with the marketing side of things as, as far as like pictures and photos and websites and videos. This has to do with your actual product and your actual service, possibly the way you're uh, communicating with your customers. If they had a bad experience, the product broke, uh, they called customer service, they were mean to them on the phone, or they didn't respond via email, the harder it is for them to get value out of the thing that they just purchased, the less likely you are to uh, to have them talk about you in a good light, to give you positive reviews, to recommend you to anybody else, and definitely not going to repurchase from you ever again. So make sure that their experience is on point. Make sure that you have good R&D, your product's high quality or as high quality as it needs to be compared to the price, and make sure your customer service is top, 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 top notch because you can't really survive as a brand in today's day and age without solid customer service, giving people the answers and the, 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 the fixes to their problems as soon as possible, okay? And the last thing is your product could just be vanilla or it could just be a subpar product and you really need to understand your space, your level it went in the hierarchy of product quality. When you go to the dollar store, you don't expect to get something you're going to keep for 10 years. You expect to get something as cheap as possible that will serve the short-term purpose you have at that particular point. If you shop at a Whole Foods, you're going to get more premium products. If you, if you shop at a Walmart, depending on what you're looking for, generally you're looking for cost savings. If you shop at a Target, Generally, you're looking for cost savings of more premium products, okay? So Target knows where they are in the marketplace. Walmart knows where they are in the marketplace. Dollar Store or Dollar General know where they are in the marketplace. So make sure you understand where your products and your services lie because you can set much better expectations to your customer and you don't risk being viewed as a poor product or a poor service, something that's not valuable, okay? So make sure that you understand that. That number five is really important, and it might not be, it, it might be the reason for your decreasing sales because you think you're up here, and you're marketing like you're up here, and you're telling people like you're up here, uh, and you're pricing like you're up here, but you're really down here. So make sure you understand that. Those five things could be reasons that your e-commerce sales are dropping. So, if you found this valuable, make sure you leave me a good review. Leave us a good review on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. Uh, that's how people know to listen to this podcast. Hopefully it's helpful for a lot of you out there. And if you're watching this video, smash that thumbs up button. Um, that feeds the algorithm. Feed the algo. Uh, tell the world that this show is valuable. And if you have any feedback, shoot me a DM or leave a comment for uh, shows you'd like to see. Would love to be helpful for you specifically. Until next time. Thanks for watching.